Yo guys, it's me Phil, and I welcome you to my second tutorial. Um, and today we are going to create that stroke. Most of you guys regressed it last time. It was this little stroke. So um, yeah, for all of you who haven't seen my first tutorial on those uh, glassy pieces, be sure to check that out. I'll link that in the description. Um, yeah, so let's get right into it. Um, what we need is always uh, After Effects CS6, that is what I prefer to use. Um, and uh, today we're going to Motion Track. So, um, for all of you who haven't seen um, my first tutorial on how to motion track in the versions, um, in the earlier versions of um, After Effects CS6, so CS5.5, uh, the earlier ones, um, be sure to check that out and learn how to do that. So, uh, you can create this one as well. Um, first of all, import a cinematic. As always, I include that one in the description. Create a composition. Change the scale of it. Okay. Um, yeah, as you can see, it's a cinematic on uh, Piazza. Uh, and I'll keep that quite short, about yeah, four seconds. Okay, and what I'm going to do now is motion track. Motion tracking in CS6 is actually pretty easy, but takes a bit of time, so I'll be right back. Okay, so um, everything is tracked. I'm just going to create a camera. Okay, and now we have to create a solid. That's fine. Um, and mask out a little line. So just change it like that. Um, and when you want to make those curves, uh, you can create them by uh, clicking on your solid and just hold hold it while um, moving it away. So yeah. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm just going to rush through it because uh, you can. Because I don't have that much time today. Um, so yeah, now you go to generate, go to stroke. Um, and what you see now is when you change um, this one to on original, you see it's not really a stroke, but when you change the height of it, you see that we've created a stroke, and by working with this, uh, this end option we can animate the stroke. So um, what we have to do now is just um, make it a 3D layer change, its po change the position of it and the rotation as well by hitting R on the keyboard so it's pretty much like that. Yeah that looks good and now I'm going to change the scale to about 450. Hope that works. Yeah. Um. Yeah. And now I have to drag it down because otherwise I won't see any strokes. Um. And if we go through a timeline, I can see easily that it's track really well, but um, way too big. So I guess that should be enough. like that. Okay, um so now we go we are going to animate the stroke with this one so everything we do is we go to the beginning of our clip so about here keyframe the end go to the end of our clip and make it to a hundred about a hundred just let's going slightly back so um, if you go through the timeline you should be able to see now I just change it to half uh, you should be able to see how it's moving in the cinematic perfectly if you don't like here you um, go to your solid hit you 
for looking at all the keyframe uh, effects. Um, and now you go through your animation and see, oh, that's not enough. Change it to about, yeah, about like that. And now it should go smoothly with the cinematic. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. What we're going to do now is just add a glow to it. Yeah, and now you can change the glow, radius, all of this stuff. Um, add a color correction to it, add some motion tracking in the background. Um, yeah, and uh, as another tutorial request, um, I had two things in mind. First of all, I thought about showing you guys how to mask this out. So, um, this part here with those... Um, I don't know what it's called, but here those uh, lights are in front of the stroke, so it's like uh, going behind of it. Uh, and another one I thought about doing is um, a particular particular stroke. I'll just show you what I mean. So it's actually just. Um, a stroke created in crowd on stage trying to fill my dick from the crowd come on baby girl tell me what you want i got what you need so yeah um as always please be sure to like comment and um request a new tutorial so i can continue that um and uh, i actually thought about doing the next tutorial by tomorrow cuz um i've been quite inactive for the last 5 days so I'm out. Peace.